Hello and welcome to my blog from the last day of the Alshira Hickster Derby meeting. I'm here to interview the winner of the under 25 Hickster Masters, which is the only other class that happens on Derby Day. It's a very important class of the year and we're extra delighted with the winner because it's a wee bit of a home win. Well done. This is Jake Saywell. Um, and Jake used to train here actually with my brother-in-law with Brina Question. So you absolute wonder, well done. Um, for those watching, tell them, well, firstly, what it means to win in a ring like this on Derby Day. Yeah, it means a lot. It's great being that I was here f for a year with Shane and with all the family here. My parents are here, my grandparents are watching on the live stream and it feels fantastic in the main ring here. There's no ring quite like it in the world. It's definitely one of the best rings and it feels great to even just go in the ring, let alone win. So. Good man, we paid him to say all that, but you, it's completely true. <laughs> it's very true. And, you know, it is an interesting part of the sport. In a, in a sport where you can have a career for 40 years, fingers yeah. crossed. For those who might not realise, it's not just a question of, right, I'm going to buy a horse box and a horse and start off on my own. Tell them a little bit, like, why you were here with Shane and how the whole working pupil thing works. Well, I'm very privileged that I have a family a background in show jumping and we have a big stables at home. But a big thing my father said to me is you have to go and learn your trade right. and go and learn what it's about. It's easy to just have it all at home, which I could have with my grandparents back in and everyone supporting me. So he said, you have to go away and work. And it was only that I was here in the September show, which is another great show here. And I saw uh, Shane and how he works his yard and I thought that's where I want to go. So I came down here to Shane and it was a big, big jump in my career. I learned to do everything on my own. There was no one doing things for me or we, we, for we me don't or, baby them no definitely not and the and the help from Shane and Michael Quirk there and, and Chloe Breen uh, Daisy's invaluable. sister is invaluable it's fantastic and I won't keep you too much longer for a young rider who's looking at this probably furiously jealous thinking about starting out you've now gone off like you say and started your own business yeah. aside from obviously being able to ride a horse you, there's a multitude of other things what are some of the challenges do you spend a lot of your time producing social media for example with your sponsors that kind of thing yeah it's a big thing sh social media with sponsors and supporters because they do so much for me and I have to give back to them so it's big on the internet social media website and tagging Twitter and <laughs> every, Instagram you name them there's, there's everything and that's a big help for them and obviously you do all of this yourself with no help from Ella <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to say that no my lovely girlfriend she does everything like that for me and she's one of the most glamorous bit, wags a little bit of input from me but I don't know if that's a help or a hinder and just finally before I let you go my darling I didn't know it was also a dancing dressage horse what on earth was going on there in the presentation when you were trying to jump on my sister she's a little bit sharp when I bend down or go to get off her so when I was going to give Chloe a kiss on the cheek she was a little bit sharp <laughs> I was gripping on anyway keep Chloe on her toes <laughs> yeah. thank you very much great to see you HCTV and well done thank you